Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at how to unblock blocked files you downloaded from the internet. There are four places a file can come from. And after that, Windows Security is going to try and decide if it's safe and put it as high risk, moderate risk, or low risk. And you'll get different messages such as the publisher could not be verified, to help protect your computer, it's blocked access to the file. And there's a few ways we can do this. So let's start with File Explorer, which is really, really easy. Open File Explorer up. Click, Right-click on the file that you need to unblock and click on Properties. And here's your Unblock option right here. If you don't see Unblock, you'll only see Attributes Read Only Hidden and Advanced. That means the file is not blocked. You probably have a different issue. So you click on Unblock right here and then just click on OK. That's the first way. The next one, of course, is you just go ahead and run the file. A lot of times, user account control will warn you. And let's try it real quick. Right here, so here's your user account control. Just click yes, and off you go. Sometimes that'll work. Next up is Defender Smart Screen. I don't have anything on the computer right now, but a good example would be a batch file. They're always blocked. You will get the Microsoft Defender Smart Screen. And it says right here, prevented and unrecognized app from running. It could put your computer at risk, blah, blah, blah. You click on more info and then click on run anyway. Now, sometimes that box doesn't fit. And this is actually an example of it. You can see that all the words are half gone from way over here. There's a little scroll bar down here and you'd have to scroll it on over, click it, drag it so you can find run anyway if you don't see it. And now, of course, let's get just a touch geeky. If all else fails, you have Windows Terminal or PowerShell. Not going to do too much with this. This is a little more advanced users, I'm assuming. If you're going to pop open the command prompt, you've used it before. And that's probably your best idea. So, for example, Windows 11, Windows key plus X will get me to Windows Terminal. Just so you have it open, you can see it. And what you want to know is what you want to do. Do you want to unblock a file? Would you like to unblock all files in a folder? Or would you like to unblock all files in a folder and subfolders, which is pretty rare? So what the heck, why don't I give it a try? So we know we have to type in unblock file path, full path of the file that includes the quotes. Let's do this. I could probably type it faster in a normal situation, but... Let's see, uh, properties. So we know we're in my download folder. So we'll go see if I can get this right the first time. C colon backslash users backslash. Let's see what I got here. Funny thing is on my VMware, I don't even know what it's called. C, so there's another way you can do it. Users, so you know where you're at. Tim, downloads. Click here, just like that, and copy it. So just follow file, file Explorer through to get to where the file is. Click up here to get the path, simplify it. Backslash. And once again, the nice thing with Terminal is you can copy and paste. You couldn't do that with Command Prompt. You could do it with PowerShell. So let's do this. This way we don't make a mistake. Once again, we want to put that in there. Now, if I go ahead and press Enter, it's going to unblock the file, but it's not going to say anything. So what you can do in addition to all these codes here is you can add dash confirm. Now, as you can see, we're probably looking just to unblock a file. So we'll use this as the example. This is the code, and this is the example. So here's your text you want to put in. You just saw me put in. But I want it to confirm just to make sure that it works. Let's see if I can get this right. So we're going to have a space after that, dash, C-O-N-F-I-R-M. Note that there is a space after the quotes, but not dash confirm. That's one word. Let's press enter and hope it works. There it is. Yay me. I hate when it screws up. Then I got to start all over again. So now you just say Y for yes. And at least that way, I don't know, maybe you feel more confident. But again, if we did it without it, without the confirm, you wouldn't get the prompt. So I'm not going to type it all over again. You can see it in the screenshot in the background right there. So if I did it without it, it just 
goes blank as you see right here just like that so there is no it just does it obviously if you get that it worked and if you don't get that you get an error message you type something wrong and there you have it so there's a hard way to do it and that's pretty much every way to unblock block files downloaded from the internet so hopefully we helped you out appreciate you watching as always see ya